there was an unfortunate robbery at, to our community. I saw this on the news um, on, uh, on Google. So this is some crazy shit. All right. You guys ready to hear this? So this is DJ Bookster. I don't know this guy at all. I never met him in my life or, you know, I, I, we don't know each other. But um, his, his actual name's Alex Schultz. He's a DJ in New Orleans. Pretty busy guy, I think, because so he had an event. This He had a couple uh, gigs this weekend, I think, at like bars and stuff like that. I think he had like two or three gigs in a day. I think it was on like maybe a Saturday this weekend. He gets in his car. He packs up all his stuff, his speakers, his controller, his laptops, everything. He drives home. Someone, a group of people followed him home, okay? Followed this guy home. When he went to get out of his car, they attacked him. They beat his ass. And not only did they rob him, okay, of everything, like, like his, all his equipment, he had a tip jar with him, apparently. Not only did they rob him of all his shit, they took his whole damn car, his whole car with everything in it. They just took his whole shit. They found the car like a couple days later. The only thing that was left in his car was his baby stroller. Everything else gone. The dude lost everything. It's fucked up. It's insane to me like that this is like, this is possible. Like that, that like literally, because this is like a stalking. This is like, this isn't like you were walking down a street and it's like, yo, give me your money out of your wallet, like randomly kind of thing. And like, no, they literally watched this guy load out of a bar. They followed him home, so it was, you know, wherever he lived, it's less, you know, people around, I guess, than there was at, like, the bar getting out at 2 a.m. or whatever it was, and then they proceeded to beat his ass and rob him of his car with all of his DJ equipment. Insane. Um, you know, if you guys want to, you know, help him out, I did, I did put his GoFundMe in the description. I feel so bad for this guy, you know, if you can donate a couple bucks if you have the means. He did lose everything. And, you know, anything would help, I'm sure. It's, it's, it's just a damn shame. I couldn't imagine, like, literally getting my whole, you know, my whole truck, my whole trail or something like that. Go, like, that's a, that's a big L. And, uh, yeah, you know, so I feel for him for sure. But I figure um, I want to give you guys some tips about this. I thought a lot about this. And I've thought about this in the past, too. I'm kind of always, I'm from, like, you know, Philly, New York area. So we always look over our shoulder around here. You know, maybe down south it's a little more laid back. I don't know, but... You know, I'm always looking over my shoulder and I want to give you guys some tips, you know, to hopefully, you know, help prevent or, you know, just things to do. Number one, always back up your music. OK, I'm not saying he didn't. I, I'm sure he did. But anytime something like this happens, I'm going to remind from the top of the mountaintops over and over and over again. I've said this a million times. Back up your music. Have a physical copy at home that just chills. Right. A hard drive that just chills at home with all your music and put it on the cloud. So you have both. So God forbid if you get a rob, you know, you can always buy new equipment, but your library, your playlist, your crates, that is like irreplaceable. It doesn't matter how much money you got. You can't replace that shit. So always, always, always back that stuff up. And yeah, and someone said, carry a gun. <laughs> I would if I could, but I live in a stupid state called the state of New Jersey where guns are, uh, gu guns are bad around here. You're not allowed to have guns. Only the criminals can have guns around here. So, you know, but if you're in a state that you can carry, when I lived in PA and I DJed in PA a lot, um, I did conceal carry because you were allowed. So I highly recommend it. Carry a gun just in case. God forbid. And know the laws. Know how, you know, know if you can use it or whatever, however that shit works. But that is a good point. But back up your music. And number two, we got to watch our backs. You know, if you guys, especially if you're from a small town or something like this, this is probably some shocking shit. This is the first time I've ever heard of a DJ actually getting stalked out right? Like stalked out like this. And I just, I want to make you guys aware of this and maybe this becomes a trend who knows, God forbid, but like watch your back when you leave an event, whether it's a wedding or whatever you're doing, you know, look over your shoulder, make sure there's not the same car behind you all the way home. Cause if there is, then you can make a few turns and see if they're really following you, you know? And then you can you can go right to the police or you can call the cops or whatever. I think these guys are following me and you could prevent this sort of thing from happening. And not only this, they now these people know where this guy lives. So like, it, it's not only, it would have been better if he got robbed at the event because now they know where he lives. So now he has a baby and he's home with his, you know, you don't feel safe in your own house, you know? So the last thing you want is to go home when you have somebody following you. So look over your shoulder, just make sure that you're not being targeted. You know, I, it, it's just, it, it, it's, it's an incredibly scary thing, you know? So to, to always look over your shoulder. It's a shitty way to live. I get it, but you know, it, it's a hard knock world out there. So you got, you got to look over your shoulder. 
Another tip too, honestly, especially with wedding DJs. I'm not saying that um, you know DJ Bookster should have did this, you know, because he was. I wouldn't have either, because I was doing. You know, if I'm doing clubs, I'm not going to do this. But with wedding DJs, another reason to bring an assistant. Okay, you're not by yourself. An assistant that is down to throw down if you need to. Okay, me and Santi have an agreement. We talked about this years and years ago. If ever anything ever happens, I mean, we're both going to throw down. We don't give a shit. We could fight. Okay. We'll throw it down. I'm not, I'm not even bullshitting. Like, it, 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 having a second person obviously helps, you know? You, you, if you're doing weddings, chances are you got even more expensive equipment than the, that DJ in New Orleans had, you know? Uh, like, because your lights, everything else, there's even more equipment you can have, more things to lose. Bring an assistant. Now it's two. Two. Uh, two's better than one, Okay. Me and Santi will throw it out. We, we, don't, we don't give a shit. This ain't a game, okay? If you want what's in our trailer, you got to go through us, okay? Got to go through these. We can't carry a gun in New Jersey, but I can carry these guns, okay? So if you want what's, what, what's behind us, you just got to go through us. This ain't a damn game. And two is just better than one. Just another damn reason to bring an assistant over all the million other reasons I've given over the years of me doing YouTube, this is one of the main things I've screamed from the mountaintops, always use an assistant, especially when you do weddings. Every single wedding you should never do alone, and this is just another point to it. So, telling you, telling you. But once again, he's got to go fund me. The link's in the description if you want to help the guy out. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure it'll mean the world to him. He's got a little family, everything, kind of lost everything. So, you know, I want to want to get him to his goal and go fund me so he can uh, replace all that equipment and keep working because he's got events. I'm sure he's got events this weekend. You know what I mean? I'm sure he's got gigs this weekend. He's got to keep, you know, keep working. So, crazy, crazy stuff though, people. Crazy stuff. <laughs>